Well, now to a story that's created lots of excitement for folks in Kingsville. We think it might put you in a good mood as well, and the operative word there is mood. It seems a popular icon has found its way back to Kingsville. Our Bill Churchwell has the story. Holy cow, it's back. I was just passing by and happened to see it, and I was like, wow, they brought the cow back. Have you heard? It's already turning heads. I love this cow, man. The popular plastic cow has moved home. This is a, a real landmark here in Kingsley. For decades, it was a staple here on South Brahma Boulevard until the departure of the old sirloin stockade. We knew bringing it back that people would be excited to see him home. After four years, you can find the cow back at its original location and with a brand new owner, Justin Bray. This is a small town story, um, but th that's what Kingsville is. We're a small town where we have a strong backbone of, of a very prideful community. He's opening a new joint called Bray's Smokehouse, and we got a sneak peek inside. The booths used to be against the walls. Remember what it used to look like? Bray says you can expect award-winning barbecue, and it will also be a place for hashtag okay. talented beer drinkers with their very own craft beer. But the parking lot, he said, didn't quite feel like home. Looking outside, you know, it just kind of looked, looked a little naked in the parking lot. So he went in search of it and was steered towards Floresville. He was sitting in a field. Um, out to pasture and we're just we're just real happy that that they decided to, to send him back home that announcement creating quite the frenzy on social media i don't know the benchmark for something going viral but i think we kind of went small town viral standing at over 12 feet tall this cow screams texas and the stakes for the new restaurant are just as high i'm joking than that i'm not gonna be able to come in to eat for the first two months because it's going to be a crowd in the line out the door a tribute to the past grazing excitement for the future and Bray's smokehouse is scheduled to have its grand opening on june 18th on a Tuesday. Reporting from Kingsville, I'm Bill Churchwell, 3 News. Lost track of the number of puns in that, <laughs> in that report. Hey, uh, as mentioned, a lot of you did comment on our Facebook page today, recounting your memories about that popular icon in Kingsville. We just want to show you a few of them here from Angelita Vaca. Welcome home, my utterly family. Long time no see. And she's got little icons there. Kendra Nape Ward, my very first job when I was 16. Dang, I'm almost 48 now. Bahaha. <laughs> I guess that's what you do. Oh my goodness. Knox Dreisen. Missed that cow. Nothing says Kingsville like the cow and the lion. Is that it? One more. Lorinda Shuford Boyd. 1977-78. I worked at the Sirloin Stockade in Kingsville during high school. It was outside that restaurant. Yes, it was. All right. Just uh, some of the comments tonight on that uh, big cow and kids. I remember that thing. <laughs> yeah, you're, oh, yeah. you're from that. Like yeah, the 14th yeah, Street in Brema. You've ever, outside, you could say the Stirl Sirloin Stockade now. <laughs> Huge. Okay. And then it disappeared. Glad well, it's back. Glad it's back. And uh, Bill